Americans spend nearly $700 billion dining out every year, and for those on a budget, a meal out can mean fast food. But a new report shows even price-conscious diners caring more about taste and sales. Karina Huber reports. When it comes to fast food, big isn't better. The world's largest fast food brands just got failing marks from U.S. consumers. More than 30,000 subscribers of Consumer Reports ranked McDonald's hamburger as the worst, Taco Bell got worse burrito, and KFC worse chicken. When you go to McDonald's or Burger King, what you're doing is primarily getting frozen beef patties that have been pre-cooked and then reheated in a microwave and then thrown on a bun to you. Scott Rothbart, who manages investments in the food industry, says despite the sluggish economy, middle-class Americans have become pickier about their food, even if it costs them a bit more. And there's no shortage of competitors that can provide those options. Fast casual restaurants like Chipotle Mexican Grill and Panera are relative new entrants to the dining scene, but their popularity is fast growing. U.S. sales rose 11 percent last year. So they're providing an atmosphere, they're providing with higher quality food, and they're providing with better service. Um, so you put all that together, and it's worth spending a couple extra dollars. By comparison, McDonald's U.S. same-store sales fell two-tenths of a percent last year. Well, McDonald's is still the largest seller of hamburgers, and I think that's going to stay for a long time. Uh, but their growth in the U.S. has been disappointing. Ephraim Levy, an analyst at S&P Capital IQ, says the U.S. market is saturated for fast food chains like McDonald's. That's why it and Yum! Brands, the parent company of Taco Bell and KFC, are eyeing Asia for growth. Earlier this year, McDonald's said it would add 300 locations in China in 2014. More than half of Yum! sales come from China. These companies are doing really well uh, internationally. China has been a growth market. The sheer size means they're going to grow for a long, long time. They can only hope that their food continues to look appetizing to Asian diners for a long time, or else they'll have to take a bite out of another untapped market. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.